Hey, I'm Lou Santiago, and this is our fourth segment, and it's the final part of our tour of the ALI Lift Lab. Previously, we discussed the importance of lift safety training and some of the key resources that ALI has created for those of us working under a car every day. Thousands of pounds of steel over your head, you gotta be careful. We've also learned about the importance of annual inspections of your vehicle lift and how ALI's inspection label is the only independent proof that the lift meets all requirements. Now, I wanna shift gears and talk about the elephant in the room. This 1946 Brockway is a Model 260 XW. Now you gotta remember something, in 1946, World War II had just ended, and metal was short. So, you actually had wood framing inside this thing. Inline six-cylinder Continental engine. Makes 400 foot-pounds of torque, roughly 160, 200 horsepower. So it wasn't a beast. It was not a car, that, or a truck, I should say, that could run down the road doing 70, 80 miles an hour because it wasn't designed to do that. You found a lot of these trucks working in concrete yards, job sites. This is a workhorse. The Brockways were built for almost 100 years in Cortland, New York. So that's the fit right there. But not only that, you know, at the end of World War II, metal was short. Brockway was still making trucks and they were still cranking them out. So Brockway at that time was becoming the industry standard. You also had guys producing lifts. Now, nine lift manufacturers got together and formed the ALI. What they did was they became a self-governing organization to make sure that the metal that was being used, because it was short, they didn't have a lot of it going around, the lifts were done properly because they were afraid that guys would get hurt. I mean, the bottom line is, is you take a Brockway like this and try to lift it up. I don't care if you use a regular floor jack or jack stands, it can become an unsafe situation. ALI is the sanctioning body for your lift. So you want to keep in mind, and this is very important when you're looking to purchase a lift, there's a gold ALI sticker on your lift and it comes from the manufacturer. What that tells you as a consumer is very simple. That lift meets the minimum safety requirements for the application that you're doing. So remember that next time you're buying a lift, if it doesn't have the sticker, it's not certified. I know I've thrown a ton of information at you guys today at the ALI Lift Lab, and that's okay. Soak it all in, check it out on the site. So just remember this, and it's very important. Lift it right, because your safety is riding on it. I'm Lou Santiago, till next time.